Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. I had an amazing night last night. I can't get into details right now. I may be able to share this later, but I had dinner with one of the original Market Wizards last night uh, from the original Market Wizards book. For anyone who follows me and knows that all of my services, I put a PDF copy of two books and uh, two of my favorite trading books, and my favorite trading books is actually Market Wizards. Um, and the other one is Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom. So uh, Market Wizards is an interview with, I believe, 10 traders. And I got it, I've, I've met most of them, but there's a few I haven't. And I met one of my favorites yesterday. And uh, if I can, I'll try to get permission. I'll try to, I'll post a picture of us together. But it made my day. It actually made my month. I've always wanted to meet this, uh, this trader. And I finally did. And we had a, a two and a half, three hour conversation. We had dinner. I had an amazing night last night. All right, let's get back to the markets. Unemployment data, that's what's on the table today. No resolution, nothing from Trump, nothing from China. We have till the 15th. If things don't start resolving themselves, if we don't enter phase one on the 15th, all I'm gonna say is expect the market to go down south, south. All right, unemployment numbers are coming out in about 45, 50 minutes. The consensus is 3.6% unemployment. If the number is above 3.7, that means there is a problem, there's a slowdown. If the number is below 3.6 or even 3.6, the number should be right on target and the Fed can clearly look President Trump in the eye and say, President, economy is stable. But if the number is above 3.7, then Trump can go to the Fed and say, I told you so. So there's a little power play there and it's largely dependent on these numbers. I'm not kidding you. I mean, uh, Trump wants Fed to lower rates, Fed says economy stable and unemployment numbers, GDP, and uh, jobless claims are the three biggest reports, um, GDP too, that, that, that tell us this. And so far, all the numbers have been in line with the Fed. So the Fed's case for not lowering rates more has been stable. But if unemployment rises above 3.7, 3.7 would still be fairly okay. But anything about 3.8, 3.9, 4%, that would cause Trump to possibly ask Jerome Powell to visit the White House again and have a little have a little talk with him. I'm just messing around. It's Friday, okay? <laughs> Can you imagine Trump and Powell, you know, hashing it out? Look, Jerome, you got to lower rates here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't help myself. All right. As far as technicals, more sideways. We can go a little higher here. But again, I would be very, very shocked to see um, us take out all-time highs before the 15th, if the indication is that we're not gonna work out this uh, phase one, we're not gonna enter phase one. Again, it's hurry up and wait. My, from, based from my experience, the market is building a triangle or a wedge or a congestion type of a pattern, which will usually result in a breakout that follows. But I'm seeing congestion, congestion and sideways trading action, kind of a wait and see mode. If you look at the Russell, same thing, we're a little weaker, but again, sideways, sideways. This is the time for the market to really kind of anticipate what will happen. And, and here's the thing, if, if nothing's gonna be worked out on the 15th, the odds are we're gonna hear about it before the 15th. I mean, we know President Trump doesn't keep things close to vest very often, he likes to tweet. So if things are not gonna work out by the 15th, we'll probably see it on one of the tweets and the market will go south. But if we don't see anything, we may start heading up higher, higher, higher. And what may start off as a symmetrical triangle may actually become an ascending triangle. And if things look bearish, it may be a descending triangle. My point is over the next four or five days, we're gonna get a better feel based on market action what, the, uh, what Trump and China are thinking. Now, it's Friday, it's Friday, right? What do I do on Friday? I give you the top three stocks. Now, one of these stocks was the top three stocks last week as well. One of the things about my CSI scan, CSI um, Cumulative Strength Index, and no, it has nothing to do with that amazing show called CSI that was on for 20 years. I don't know anything about that. I wouldn't know where to start. Anyhow, it's just a coincidence, but yeah, it was one of my favorite shows. But it's called CSI Index. I'll show it to you in a minute. Here's what it looks like. And I'm, I'm keeping Tiffany's out of this because Tiffany's is being bought out by, um, oh God, um, the purse company, the one my wife loves. 
It's very expensive. Uh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name of the company. M maybe it's a mental block. So I, Louis Vuitton, that's it. They're being bought by Louis Vuitton. So it's not really in place. So we have State Street Corp, Align, and Cuervo. And remember Cuervo? It was on the list last week, and it's still on the list. So let's look at these stocks. This is a bank stock, all right? Really good bank stock, one of the three strongest stocks in the S&P 500 right now. It's congesting. I like congestion. I don't like to buy during a trending phase. I like to buy during an extended congestion phase. Your risk is lower. Volatility is higher when stocks or any other asset is trending, and it's lower when it's congest congesting. So you always want to try to buy during a congestion if you can. So bank stock. And bank stocks with low rates, if you're seeing a bank stock breaking out, that's something you should definitely focus on. Next one, Align Technology. Although it's a technology company, it really isn't. It's really a medical company. Um, if you look at Align, they do dental supplies, prosthetic surgical appliances. So it is technology, but not really technology. In other words, it doesn't have a huge cross collateralization to China. And again, congestion. And yeah, it's not making all time highs. If you look here, it's been, it's, it, it was coming down. But look at this trend over the last, um, the last several months. And right now, that stock is on my relative strength list, right there, a line. And lastly, we still have uh, Cuervo. Look at this congestion. I love this stock. Um, I believe this was our stock for our um, the 5G list. I'm not sure, but this is an amazing stock. They provide chips to Microsoft iPads and uh, other Microsoft products. They provide equipment so that iPads can be built. So if Apple continues moving higher, Corvo does too. And this company, and I'm probably mispronouncing it, but this company um, also provides chips for other manufacturers. So it's an amazing company. It's getting into the 5G space aggressively, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And those are my three stocks for Friday, Align, STT, and Cuervo. Now, folks, this is a stock picker's market. I'm looking at the market right now. This is a trader's market. You don't wanna own indices right now. You wanna be selective, and you wanna focus on the very, very best setups. I mean, look at these three setups. These are good, strong stocks, but they're not setting up. You need to find the perfect stock and the perfect setup while the market is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Now, I recently released a system and it looks at 10 major factors and it determines which stocks are gonna make a big, big move. The system is very, very picky. Out of tens of thousands of stocks, it literally picks a handful of highly, highly buy rated stocks. It does what this filter here is doing but on a much, 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 much more advanced uh, scale. I mean, much, much more advanced scale. I'm about to release the names, the ticker symbols, and how to trade these three stocks. If you want to get in on it, click the bottom, click the button below this video. Um, again, this is just a scan to give you the highest rated stocks. But this system that I'm gonna that that you'll find out about if you click the link below, it literally goes through the entire exchange, it looks at 10 factors. This looks at one factor. Imagine you have a system that's constantly staking out 10 major factors. This system has has blown the market out of the water, it trades options, it trades stocks. Three top stocks, you gotta check it out, follow the link below. This is one of the best systems to trade during times like this, when you've gotta be really selective and you've got to be really picky. Again, you guys have an amazing weekend. I had a, a, a great week. Choppiness, very picky. Um, you want to, you really want to be in the top, top stocks right now. You don't want to be in the broad market. You want to be selective, really, really selective. Click the button below. Find out how to learn about this program. Do it now. Don't procrastinate. We were talking about this last night. And both me and the trader I was talking to, we both agreed. Procrastination is your number one enemy. You guys have an amazing weekend. Talk soon.